Hi and welcome back to the Nerd Shelves. I'm Judy <laughs> and I'm Michael. Today we're going to talk about something a little bit different. Yeah, today we are going to do our top, top five. five list of our favorite games mm -hmm. that were ranked between 401 mm -hmm. to 500 on BGG. Okay, so yeah, we thought it would be interesting to take a look at games mm -hmm. ranked on the Board Game Geek. Mm -hmm. But what we thought was interesting was that a lot of games we really like are not in the top 100. Yeah. Now, I know that this these rankings change over time, but mm -hmm. we're talking about right now as of March in 2021. Yeah. We took the rankings and we're going to start with mm -hmm. 401 to 500 mm -hmm. ranked games on BGG. Yeah. Mind you, that's our top five yeah. that we like. Yes. So some new games we might not play with it yet. True. That's yes. absolutely full disclosure here. Yeah. We obviously haven't played every game that's ranked on the BGG. Yeah. So these are our favorite games. And also, mm -hmm. this is a list of our favorite games. It, some of some games on that list I might actually think are better games, mm -hmm. but these are my favorite games to play. So mm -hmm. these are the ones that I, my list anyways, are mm -hmm. the games that I thought are fun and I enjoy playing. Doesn't necessarily mean they're the best games on the mm -hmm. list, yeah. but these are the Just ones. our opinion. Our opinion and the games that we like the best. Yeah. So why don't you start with number five? You want me to start? Yes, please. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Did you look at my list? No, I can't see. <laughs> okay. My number five mm. is Sushi Go. Really? Really, Sushi Go. Yeah. Sushi Go is ranked 446 on Board Game Geek. Mm -hmm. Board Game Geek gave it a rating of 6.939. Mm -hmm. um, and the average user rating was 7.05, which is very similar. Mm -hmm. But I think Sushi Go is a fan fantastic game. Yeah. Um, it's designed by Phil Walker Harding. It's published by Adventureland Games and Game Right mm -hmm. Games. Um, but for me, and also because we have kids yep. too, but it is a perfect filler game. Yeah. It's so good. And it's so perfect for kids. Yeah. Because every turn, so basically how the game works is depending on the number of players, yep. you get a certain amount of cards mm -hmm. and they're all different kinds of sushi. Mm -hmm. And you play a card and then you pass your cards to the next person and then you play a card and you go until your cards are done. Mm -hmm. And then you, all different cards, they score for different set collecting or there's different ways to score mm -hmm. based on the groups that you have in front of you. Mm -hmm. Now, the reason why I think it's perfect for kids is because even if somebody doesn't quite understand the rules or the strategy, mm -hmm. they can still just play a card mm -hmm. and they're still playing mm -hmm. and you can build the strategy with them over time. Mm -hmm. But as a filler game, I've played this so many times mm -hmm. and I have never not had a good time with it. Interesting. Yeah. Because now there is a Sushi Go party. Yeah. And there's different Sushi Goes yeah, for sure. Yeah. This is just Quite the basic Sushi Go. And yeah, yeah it's, you know, it's for, like I said, 446. It's one of those games that I think Everybody I know, at least, most people have played it. Mm -hmm. Most people enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Nobody has a bad thing to say about it. So, yeah, that's no, my number five. Yeah. That's and the artwork is really cute. Yeah, it's super cute. Yeah. yeah, so that's my number five. Cool. My number five is Jamaica. Oh, Jamaica. Jamaica. Yeah. Jamaica is... Well, It I played that when at the very beginning of stage when I started playing games. Yeah. So, I didn't know much, but I played a couple times with you. Yep. It's a... um. Pirate theme tactical racing game. Racing game, yeah. Yeah, you go around the, the player board. Mm -hmm. The fast one doesn't mean you win, so that's the fun part. Yeah, true. Yeah, so this game... Yeah, it is a race, but you don't win by being first. Yeah. You just get extra points. Exactly. Yeah. So this game um, was ranked on the BGG at number 498. Four, nine, ooh, it just made the list. Very, <laughs> very end, yes. Yeah. So um, the BGG rate was 6.8. Okay. And average is rate 7.06. Okay. So 7.1 Again, a little bit better from user ratings. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is designed by Malcolm Breath, Bruno Casana, mm -hmm. Sebastian Pauchung. Sure. 
I'm trying to say it right. <laughs> and it's published by GameWorks and yep. Space Cowboys. Yes. So this is, yeah, this is something that I keep in mind that I quite enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And like even now, I haven't played for a couple of years. I yeah. still want to play it sometimes. Mm -hmm. And we also have the crew expansion that we haven't even tried yes. yet. It's just been sitting there. And those cars are so fun. Yeah, just it is looking fun. looking at it. We're yeah. going to get to it sometime soon. Yeah. What I think is neat about Jamaica, which is, is kind of different, is... Every card has a night phase and a day phase. Mm -hmm. So whoever's turn it is, whoever's the captain or, or, or whatever, it's their turn. They roll the dice and they get to decide yeah. what number is going to be night and or day and what number is going to be night. And then you play cards and you, yeah. depending on your card, whatever's day action and night action is, you get that from the dice. That's it's pretty really cool. cool. And the card, when you line up together, it actually connect to one picture. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it that creates a whole so picture. That is so cool, yeah. that part. Cool. That's, That's my really, number five. Yeah. That is a really good one. I have to admit, Jamaica didn't make my list. No? It was the next one. Oh. It, was, it would have been, I guess, my number six. Okay. Yeah, but it didn't quite make it. Wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> number four. Okay. My number four. This is a game. Mm -hmm. um, I think it was published in about 2000. Oh. Yeah, it's a little bit older. And this is actually the game that brought me back back into the hobby. I used to play board games tons when I, was a, when I was a kid. And then I took a break for a while. And then this is the game that actually brought me back into the hobby. Is it Citadel? It is Citadels, exactly, <laughs> yeah. Citadels, um, um, 404 was their rank on BGG. Mm -hmm. um, board Game Beat gave it a ranking of 6.9 mm -hmm. rating and it was 7.8 is the average user rating. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, it, it's the game that brought me back into the hobby and mm -hmm. I just thought it was fantastic. Um, yeah, it is fun. It's still in our collection and mm -hmm. it's, like I said, it was published in 2000. Um, so basically Citadels is a game where um, you're building different buildings but you have cards in your hand and you're mm -hmm. trying to, do, and each card gives you a, like they're characters and they give you an action. Yep. So you're trying to deduce what action the other mm -hmm. people have or what characters the other people have. Yeah. And um, yeah, I don't know. It's just, it was such, for me, it was just such a neat twist from the regular board games that we used to always play. And mm -hmm. it was kind of that, that new modern game that just, mm -hmm. it drew me right back into the hobby. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if this is sentimental mm -hmm. or if it is really my fourth favorite game on this list. But for me, mm -hmm. Citadels will always hold a, a special place in my heart. Yeah. And that's why it's my number four. Board game does that to people, right? Yeah, of course. Part of it is your memory that means so much Absolutely. to you. Absolutely. Sounds good. Yeah, thank you. Now, <laughs> my number four is your number five, Sushi Go. Oh, there you go. Okay, <laughs> cool. So... I have to be honest, the first time I played Sushi Go, I didn't really get that feeling of it. Mm. It just, I don't know why, I just feel like, nah, that's okay, just a game. Yeah. But after we play with our kids, maybe it's an interaction. Yeah. It just totally grabs yeah. very strongly for me, and I'm just lo loving it. Yeah. I'm loving it. You have to pass around the sushis and then keep the best one you want in the set and then keep the dessert and we're fighting around it. Like, oh, you get more. I want to get more too. Yeah. That is so fun. It is fun. You're right. And it isn't just about picking the cards that you want. It's also looking at everyone else's. Everyone else's cause, because you don't want to give them away. Yeah. Yeah. And it's fun how it goes this way first and then go the other way around and then the third yeah. round is yeah. different. Yeah, there's three rounds. Because yeah. you got to see who is in front of you. If they're before you, you don't get the card you want. So you don't want to get the one that's three in the set or two in the set because yeah. you never get it. Yeah. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, good. Oh, cool. I'm glad. I'm glad it made your list because it's a fun game. It is. Number three. Um, I'm not even sure. I don't think you've actually played this game, Judy. Probably not. Probably not. But anyways. <laughs> there are lots of games I haven't played. Well, yeah, that's okay. But my number three is a game. Um, it's ranked 481 on Board Game Geek, and it is Camel Up. I searched that game. Yeah, it's Camel Up is a great game. Um, mm -hmm. so it is designed by Stefan Bogan and published by um, Eggert Spiel. It is okay. So why I like Camel Up is because it's a racing game. Yeah. But you're not actually racing. Mm -hmm. The camels are racing, and they're not your camels. Mm -hmm. So what you're doing throughout the game is you are 
manipulating how the camels go through the race,、mm-hmm. but you are betting、mm-hmm. on which camel you think is going to win. Yeah, which is really fun. Yeah, and then they can obviously like the way they've、um, the camel meeples. They have humps on them, so they、yeah. can actually stack、Feel、on that, top、right? of each other, and it is just a really fun game. And yeah, I, th- I that's why I put it number three. That's fun. Okay, so what's your number three? Number three, ooh, number three is potion explosion. So we got the. That's not expansion. We got no, the one that edition. edition. The second edition. The second edition. We got the edition that comes with the tray, the the, the plastic, marble,、yeah. marble dispenser. Oh yes. Yeah. And that marble dispenser is making this game so perfect. Yeah. So I already love this game by the the player board, which is a potion bottles,、mm-hmm. and on it there are different colors, and obviously you have different colors of marbles, and you put it in the dispenser. Yeah. And you you pick those ingredients and make your potion, and those are fun. So that is on BGG four hundred forty. Four forty, okay. Yeah, so BGG rated six point nine,、mm-hmm. average rated seven point two. Yeah, yeah. That was that was pretty new, but I think they have different editions, so people、yeah. probably have different idea when. Maybe. It, yeah. I'm sure they'll love it if they have my marble dispenser. <laughs> so it's um designed by Stefano. Castelli, Andrea Crespi, Bro- Lorenzo Lorenzo Silva. Yeah, and it's published by Horrible Guild, and it is one of my favorite. What we actually we play with our kids. Yeah, we team up because it's kind of hard, but they love it, and it just reminds me of those um marble toys when we were kid. Oh right, it was so fun. Yeah, I love it. That was your number three. That's my number three. Is he your number three? No, I thought that I thought that was going to be your number one. No, oh no, <laughs> I got something at number one. Interesting. Okay,、mm. now now I'm really curious. I thought、mm. for sure Potion Explosion was going to be your number one. Number two is a game that actually sat on my shelf for quite a while, and I was going to play it, and I wasn't really that tempted to play it. But then when I finally did play it, I was like, "Wow, this is really good!" It is Broom Service. Oh. I haven't played. That I know it's another、so、one you haven't played yet. Broom Service was great.、Mm-hmm. It was such a great game. So Broom Service was ranked four hundred and ninety-one. It was right at the bottom of the list. Okay,、um, BGG gave it、um, a rating of six point nine, and the average rating is seven point one nine, so almost seven point two. It is.、Um, Designed by Andreas Pelican, Alexander Fister,、uh, published by Alia and、uh, Ravensburger.、Mm-hmm. But so, it's a basic pickup and delivery game.、Mm-hmm. You're moving around the board and you're collecting potions and you're delivering them to castles.、Mm-hmm. But the mechanic that is, I thought was pretty unique and I just loved it is, and I think it really shines with more players.、Okay. Is everybody has the same cards?、Mm-hmm. But for each round, you're only picking a certain amount of cards that you're allowed to play this round.、Mm-hmm. Now, if I'm first, I can play one of my characters. Yeah. And each character, each card does a certain thing,、mm-hmm. whether it's picking up a certain kind of potion or、mm-hmm. other things. Now, what you have to say is the herb witch. What maybe it's the herb witch.、Mm-hmm. I'm going to play the herb witch, and then you either say I'm going to play it brave, the brave herb witch, or the cowardly. Herb witch.、Mm-hmm. What that means is, if I play cowardly, doesn't matter. I instantly get to do the action,、mm-hmm. but it's a smaller action.、Mm-hmm. If I say brave, that means anybody else at the table. It goes to you next. If you picked that card in your hand, then you have to play it. Have to. You have to, and you can either again say brave or cowardly. If you say cowardly, fine. You get the lower. Action and I'm still brave. Okay. But if you say brave, I'm out, and I lose the actions for that card. And now I get. And now、out. you're brave, and then it goes to the next person, and if they have it in their hand, they have to play it. Wow. It's it's this bluffing kind of trying to figure out what cards the other players have picked. Yeah. And whether you want to risk it by saying brave or cowardly, it's and it's really fun. You know, when there's four players and I play a brave. Whatever it is,、mm-hmm. and then you know, then the person says, "Oh, I don't have that card." The next、yeah. person says, "Oh, I don't have that card," and then the last person goes, "I do. I'm brave. You're out." <laughs> okay,、it's、so, so I can see how it's 
better with more players. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. I, I think I think I've never played it with two players. Mm -hmm. I've heard it's good with two players. In my mind, I can't see it working as well with two yeah, players, yeah. but we should give it a try. Um, but I can't bluff. I'm so bad at bluffing. Yeah. <laughs> but it, I, right I love those types of games, bluffing. Anyways, so I thought Broom Service was unique. I thought it was really cute. You're, yeah, I just thought it was really neat. Okay, what's yeah. your number two? My number two. Oh, oh, oh. We're getting close. Oh, yeah. Karuba. Oh, yeah. Um, so Karuba is um, BGG and uh, number 462. Mm -hmm. So it was rated by BGG for 6.9 and average um, rate was 7.2. Yep. And it's designed by... Rudy Dorn. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> and published by Haba. Haba, yeah, Haba Games. Yeah, so... Haba has some pretty fun games. So yeah. many, Anyways. so many fun games <laughs> with kids. So this one, you're going through jungle, you're trying to get to temples. Yeah. And along the way, you just collect those gold and gems. Yeah. But it's like, you have to plan your row. And it's really cool. It's kind of like building the pipeline and all that, right? Yeah. So you got to make your way and it's so yeah. fun. What I thought was really cool about that was that so everybody has the exact same tiles yeah and they put them lay them out except for one person shuffles theirs up and mm. they draw a tile and everybody has to pick the same tile mm -hmm. and you do it on your own little board mm -hmm. but i thought that was neat that everybody places the same tile same at tiles. the same yeah. time on their board mm -hmm. but you build different you might build yeah, it differently and different. then yeah and then you can move your little explorers around yeah. and collect gems and yeah it was so fun. It is fun. Our kids love the part that collect the gem and yeah. the gold. Yeah, it was it's so cute. Good. It's really cute. Yeah. That's my second one. That's your oh, I don't know what your number one is. Number one. Do you know what my number one is? I don't. You don't. My number one, I am actually so surprised that this is so low, that it's 400 to 500 on BGG, because this is actually one of my favorite games. <laughs> it's one of my favorite games. It is Evolution. Oh. Evolution. Oh, man. I cannot. There are many uh, evolution of it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, there's oceans Ocean and there's different. End. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But just the basic Evolution. It yeah. is actually one of my favorite games. And it is one of the most thematic games. When I say thematic, I mean the game. The theme drives the game. Mm -hmm. Like it is a game based on theme, one hundred percent, and I just love it. In fact, I wrote a quote. This is a quote right from the game, and it's on the BGG, and it says, "The theme is not just tacked on; it drives the play." And that is exactly Evolution. Um, yeah, so Evolution is ranked four hundred and sixty seventh on BGG. Mm -hmm. They gave it a rating of six point nine two and an average rating of seven point one three. That average rating of seven point one three, I am shocked because I love this game. Now, I wonder how many times did it play though? Yeah, maybe. Like maybe. Games like those, they could shine better if the player play more times. Yeah, right? no, it, absolutely. That hundred percent I mm -hmm. liked it probably double the second time I played it. Mm -hmm. It is fantastic. Um, now I'm going to get these names horribly wrong and I do apologize. We are trying to say yeah. the name right. But We're it, trying. <laughs> it was um, designed by Dominic um, Krap um, Krapuchets, Dimitri Knorr, and Sergei um, Macon or Matchen. I'm not sure. I'm really sorry about those names. Mm -hmm. And it was published by North Star Games. Mm -hmm. um, so basically the way evolution works is it's evolution. So mm -hmm. you are creating species mm -hmm. based on what happens in the game. You have weather card, like the weather changes, the climate changes. Mm -hmm. You have different um, things where uh, the food changes, how much meat that you know for the carnivores how much meat is available and plants and there's a watering hole where all the other animals go and then your carnivores can go and eat them but you are building you're changing the traits on your species to adapt to the changing board mm -hmm. so you are literally evolving your species wow and I, it's fascinating it is i love it i cannot believe that it is 401 to 500 in bgg Wow. It is one of my favorite games. 
I, I remember seeing the box and it draw my eyes to it. Yeah. Yeah. And it, then you talk about how it's in, about involving and yeah. it's just, yeah. Now, to be fair, one person that we did play with once, he <laughs> was, um, it was a little overwhelming. And at the end of the game, he even said to us, I still don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> so, but it, you know, it, oh, I just, I love this game. I love it. I love it. Yeah. So that's evolving. my number one. Evolution. It's about evolving. Or evolution, depending evolution. on where you're from. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And now I, I have no idea what your number one is. No idea. Okay. So I'm a very um, old fashioned person. <laughs> okay. That should give you a good hint. Oh, I know what it is. I'm very old fashioned and this game Okay, so when I was a kid, my mom and I, we played chess. Hmm. My number one is chess. Yeah, fair enough. It's so old. No, I mean... It says, um, it's, <laughs> you know how they have the, the time they've been published? Oh, yeah. And this one is, is 1475. Oh, wow. <laughs> 1475. But I think, I, I actually um, Google a lot and yeah. Wikipedia and all that. Yeah. It's probably before that, even. Probably, yeah. Yeah, it's just the, the way they... Um, officially on yeah. the book is probably yeah. that time. But that was yeah. probably like the first recorded. So old. Yeah, mention <laughs> but of it. So good. So chess, there are many, yeah, of course. Many kind of chess all around the world. Yeah. So this one is definitely my top one because when I was a kid, my mom played chess with me. Mm. She didn't go to school. <laughs> this is going to make me cry. <laughs> so. You can't. It means a lot to me because it's um, involved a lot of family value in it. Mm -hmm. It's my childhood memory with my mom, mm -hmm. and now my kids are playing with it, mm -hmm. and they love to play with us. They do. And it's, yeah, like you say, it's very um, sentimental. Yeah. And it will always be my top one. Yeah. And that's it. That's our top five. <laughs> um, of the BGG game from 401 to 500. Yes. And again, it's our opinion. It's what we like the most. Yeah. Yeah, the top five. So you might have your top five. Let us know down below. Absolutely. Let us know what your top five are, what your top five games are from 401 to 500 on BGG rankings. Yes. We would love to hear it. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Okay, so I guess that's it for now. That's it for today. All right. Until next time. Go ahead and get another game off of your nerd shelves. Take care. Bye. Bye.